Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to give you an exclusive first look at the right-hand drive C8 Corvettes that are finally arriving in New Zealand. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today I'm super excited to be able to go over this right hand drive C8 news with you. And it's really, really neat how I came across this information or how I was given this information is what I should say because I have a follower who lives in New Zealand who just happens to work at the shipyards and has sent me quite a bit of info and photos about the right hand drive C8 Corvettes. But real quick before we get into this video make sure you smash that thumbs up button as that helps break the YouTube algorithms and really helps support the Brink of Speed community. And if you don't want to miss a single video especially like these make sure you smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. All right, let's get into the news. All right, so as you see here, ladies and gentlemen, I am back on one of my favorite websites called CorvetteBlogger.com. Keith is an excellent source of Corvette material. And so I wanted to bring you here first because I wanted to go back in time and talk about as early as February of last year, we had some GM news about their Australia and New Zealand car manufacturing company, Holden. You'll see the article here on the CorvetteBlogger.com. And I will always link this stuff down in the description below so that you guys can read the whole article. But basically, GM announced that it was shutting down the iconic Australian company, Holden. After this announcement, there was plenty of rumors out there that those countries that were expected to receive the right-hand drive would maybe not be receiving it after all. And so there was a lot of concern out there amongst many people that GM had basically told everyone that they were going to make this right-hand drive C8, but then they weren't going to really follow through with it. So again, I will link this article down in my description below. That way you guys can read the whole thing, but we're gonna move on. So then almost a year later, this past February, an Accelerate Yellow right-hand drive C8 was caught testing in Detroit, as you see here. This gave everyone doubting GM proof that they were truly building and testing these right-hand drive C8s. Now, we also know that when it was revealed to Japan, there were over 300 orders taken at that time for the C8. The consensus at that time was that the right-hand drive C8 would first go to Japan, then the UK, and then on to Australia and New Zealand. But people were still skeptical. And by the way, uh, Brian Williams got this photo and actually got all the photos that are in this article of the right-hand drive that you'll see down below. So uh, thank you to Brian Williams. He does an excellent job of getting spy shots on these C8s. So again, this will be linked below, but we're gonna move on. So in June of this year, we were lucky enough to see footage of the right-hand drive C8 doing a hot lap on Fuji Speedway in Japan. And ladies and gentlemen, if you scroll down like I'm doing here, Keith has put a YouTube video right here that you can click on and it actually takes you directly to that hot lap. And it is something else to watch. It's really, really neat. I highly recommend you taking the time to click this video and watch it uh, as soon as you go to the website and check this one out. Like I said, this article will be linked in the description down below as well. And uh, that way it's very simple to find. Let's go ahead and move on now though. So now I have some new info and pictures from someone in Auckland, New Zealand by the name of David. He sent me these exclusive photos ahead of any of the news media in New Zealand and Australia. So thank you so much to my follower, David. I really appreciate all the information that you have given me and all of the photos that you've given me. I'm sure each and every one of you is excited to see all of this. And by the way, just so you know, this photo is of a C8 docked on a boat. I mean, it's actually strapped down to a ship. So really, really cool stuff. 
But he said, as he watched most of my videos online about the C8, there has been talk of the right-hand drive C8, but with very little media coverage or photos to back it up so far. And basically what he's talking about is over there in New Zealand and Australia. So here's some good proof. Some people in Australia and New Zealand have flatly denied that GM was still going to make the right-hand drive C8 for the right-hand drive market with all the factory shutdowns this year and problems at the plant ahead of the 2022 models. But guess what? Here they are. So let me go through these pictures with you, ladies and gentlemen, and show you exactly what we're looking at here. Again, this is a torch red. Z51 Stingray strapped down to a ship. This particular gentleman works at the shipyard and has gotten me these exclusive photos. And as you can see, this has the natural interior and this is definitely a 3LT because it's the fully dipped natural interior. You can also see the front end lift on this particular model. And then we even have a VIN number. Now this VIN number is super, super low. So what he's telling me is that these models are probably captured test fleet vehicles, which means that they are not full production vehicles that are built for you know the everyday consumer. This is something that's gonna be driven around Australia and New Zealand for some time before they just start shipping a huge amount of these over there to sell to the public. Now here you see a beautiful picture that he took of an Accelerate Yellow. It's a Z51 with beautiful yellow calipers and you can see the beautiful city of Auckland, New Zealand in the background. So this looks like a shipping yard and we're gonna go to the next photo here. There you see it has an all black interior and this one looks like it's got GT3 seats. So a, a very high-end model here. You're also gonna see in the next picture that we have a front-end lift as well. And once we get to the VIN number here, we'll see that it's VIN number six. The first one I showed you is VIN number two, but something that's really neat is that it came from Bowling Green, Kentucky. We obviously knew it did, but it's really cool that it says that. And then it says Holden, and then it shows the plant, and I'm not sure what this stands for. And then we're going to take a look at this. Now, this is what's really neat. So this shows you the VIN number again. And it shows you all the rest of the information that they wanted the receiver to know about this car. Obviously, it's yellow, but this is cool. It says it's got the engine lighting and the carbon fiber, so it's got the engine appearance package. And we know that the suspension FE4 is the Z51 Mag Ride. So it is a Mag Ride front end lift Z51 Coupe and it does have the GT3 seats, and it does have the engine appearance package. And obviously it's a 2022 model. But again, this is a super low VIN, so it must be a test fleet vehicle yet again. I really love the way this car looks as a right-hand drive. Just a really neat thing to see. Now, one thing that you're gonna notice in front of this car is a couple of Aston Martins. And uh, one is a coupe, and one is a convertible. And I'm not sure what model that is. If any of you guys know which Aston Martin model that is, leave it down in the, in the uh, comments below. But ladies and gentlemen, this is exciting stuff. This means that GM is moving forward and they are supplying Australia and New Zealand with their right-hand drive cars to test out before they ship out a huge amount to the general public out there. Let me know if you are in New Zealand or Australia in the comments down below and I've ordered one of these things and was skeptical of whether you were gonna get one or not and now you're feeling better that you're seeing this news. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications so that you don't miss a single one of these coming out. I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you out on the road.